You sometimes get to hear that when you do cardio, especially when you want to do cardio to lose weight, that you should do it on an empty stomach because supposedly then your body will have to rely more on fat to fuel that activity and that therefore then you will burn more fat. And that is right and wrong at the same time. Right because yes your body will indeed have to rely more on fat but it's also wrong because you will most likely burn less calories in total and therefore also less fat. And that is because of the way your body uses its two major fuel sources, fat and carbohydrates, to fuel your cardio activities. Basically, the more demanding a task is, the more of the fuel will come from carbohydrates, because carbohydrates are available faster as a fuel source and are therefore ideal for tasks like fast running or heavy bench pressing, where a lot of energy is needed at once. Fat takes longer to be available, and is therefore suited for things like uh, simply sitting on your couch, being alive or um, going for a walk or lying in your bed and being asleep. So the higher the demands of the task you do, the more of the fuel comes from carbohydrates, but even during low demanding tasks, most of the fuel will come from fat, but some carbohydrates are burned along with it. And because your body only has very limited amounts of carbohydrates, that means, for example, that if you slept for a whole night and then get up in the morning, your body burned mostly fat, but also some carbohydrates to go along with it, and there will be very little carbohydrates left in your body. So what happens then when you, after getting up, decide to go for a run before you had your breakfast? The carbohydrate reserves in your body will be low, and the carbohydrates will therefore mostly not be available to do a lot of fast running and your body will indeed have to rely more on fat to fuel that running. And because the fat takes longer to be available, you will only be able to run slower. And this of course means two things. The first is if you are an athlete and you do cardio as part of preparation for a competition you want to participate in, then uh, you rely on the training effect you get from your training. But if you do your training without some carbohydrates in your system, you will of course perform worse, you will have less training effect, less conditioning will set in, and that of course means that uh, when finally your competition comes, you will most likely perform worse than you could. And number two is, if you do cardio to lose weight, the number one thing you have to keep in mind is that um, losing weight depends on burning more calories than you put into your body. So if you do your cardio with some carbohydrates in your system, then of course you will be able to perform higher, which of course means you will burn more calories and those calories will go into the grand total of what you burned that day. And in that grand total, it doesn't matter if um, the burned calories came from fat or carbohydrates, as long as the grand total of burned calories is bigger than the calories that you ate. I hope this cleared things up a bit and you will now with a good conscience have your breakfast before you do your cardio. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time, bye bye.